J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. For real numbers A, B, where B is a positive number, let I be the identity matrix and A be this matrix. And both of them, I and A, satisfy this equation here. Now we need to provide the answers to the following question. We are looking for the values of A and B, and the only relationship that is given in the problem is this relationship. And so for this problem, we will just need to substitute the values of the matrices. So for A, we have this value, and so for A squared, we have this product, this times this. And if we do matrix multiplication, we obtain this. For 2a, we again substitute the same matrix for a, and the scalar product would be this. And negative 4i is just the same. And so for this left side of the equation, we just add this and this, and this is what we obtain. For the right side of the equation, again we just substituted the value for the identity matrix, and this is what we obtain. And so the left side, which is from the previous slide, equals this from the right side of the equation here. And now we notice that we will have four different equations. This equals the first term here, this equals the second term, this equals this term. And this term equals this term. And if you look closely, in fact, both of the equations from the first row will be actually the same as the equations in the second row. And so we only have two equations coming out from this relationship. And so we choose this and this. So this equals this. And so that's that becomes the second here. And This bit equals zero becomes the first bit here. And if we just simplify this a little bit, we will see that we can divide both sides by two and we obtain this relationship. Now, clearly, from this simpler equation, we have possible values of A and B. That is, B could be zero, or A could be negative one, because negative one plus one is zero. So, Those are our possible values. However, the problem states that b must be a positive number, and therefore we don't consider this any further. We consider this, however. So this is our value of a. And if we substitute this value into the second equation, we will get this equation here. And now, if we solve for b, which is which appears as a quadratic term here. We see that b could either be a positive or negative square root of three. But to satisfy the condition from the problem that says that b is a positive number, we choose the principal root or the positive square root of three as the value of our b. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya. J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe.